Hello guys and welcome to another H3H3 reaction video. We've got a great video on deck. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. You know how it is. Also, look, I don't want to brag, but do you see? I need to extend my hand all the way up there. My hand is fully extended right now, okay? There's a lot of girth and a lot of length to this beanie, and I'm proud to say that I'm finally lengthy and girthy. I've got the length and girth of a true beanie mountain. So guys, let's hop right in. It's gonna be fun. You guys wanna have fun, or you wanna talk religion? You wanna talk about Sokol Antonio, or you just wanna have some fun and a couple of laughs, okay? If you wanna have a couple of laughs, join me today on the new h 3 reaction video. Wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up, proud of you. Today we're gonna to be looking at Game Crazy's training video. And this was made in about the year 2000. And I just want you to bear in mind, as we watch this, that it is their actual training video. So hey, with that in mind, let's go ahead and jump right in. Hello everybody, Keith Croft along with Bobby Payne bringing you the best of Game Crazy at the Game Crazy Selling Skills Challenge. That's where talent, skills, knowledge, and great value come together to create the ultimate games destination. That's right, Keith. Bobby? Hmm, that Bobby looks a little familiar. Are you sure it's not Keith from Key and Peele? I mean, really? Let this be a lesson to you, children, to never give up on your dreams. Because you can go from this to Mr. President. God. Bless America. And why am I required to not do it? That's right, Keith. So let's go down to the game floor where Zelda Scott will take us through our keys to the game. Zelda. 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 Zelda, that's from a video game. I recognize that name. Wow. Dude, I bet I wonder if this girl plays video games. I wonder if she's cute. Oh fuck, dude. A girl named Zelda who plays video games? What the fuck? Shit, dude, do you mind if I get off my dick here during the training session or should I wait until afterwards? I am like fully torqued right now just thinking about Zelda. Thanks, KC and BP. I'm down here in the his house. You know, the heezy. You know, the heezy. What? The fuck was that? Did you just say heezy, dude? You know, the heezy. When did this turn into a hip hop video? Wait, just because you got a black guy in the intro, you can drop hizzies in his houses? That's right, Keith. I'm on board. These guys, re I relate with these guys. So how old is your son? He's turning 12 and he's in middle school. Okay. What kind of games does he like to play? His favorite is driving games. All right, how about DVD movies? The critical movie question. Ah, the kids love the movies, Keith. The kids, they love the movies, Keith. Ah, the kids love the movies, Keith. I wonder if Key wrote that joke himself. I wonder if he thinks back with pride at that great joke he wrote in this game crazy training video. Remember, remember when he wrote that bomb ass joke about how the kids, they love the movies? Even back then you could see his potential as a comedian. That's interesting. Was it 20? Because I came around, came around. Basically there's three platforms to pick from. You have an Xbox, a PlayStation 2, and a GameCube. But to figure out which one is right for you, I'm gonna have to ask you a couple questions. So how old is your son? How about online play? How about friends? Will you have friends over? He seems a little bit too eager about that friend question. Don't you think he like jumped on that a little bit too much? How about friends? Will you have friends over? What about, what about friends? Does he have friends over? What does he smell like? What time do they usually meet up? Does, has his balls dropped yet? Does he need a dad? Look, I'm asking to help you set you up with a console, all right? You came to me for help. You want the right console, you gotta answer my questions. Now, what time does he usually get home at night? Based on what you're telling me, I'd probably recommend a Sony PlayStation 2. Perfect. Okay. And there's the add-on. He's really selling the ultimate gaming experience, Keith. Let's go down to the floor with Zelda, who's standing by with Ryan. Rye Dog. Rye Dog. What is she? Why is she doing that? Why would you call him Rye Dog? That was the bomb diggity, my friend. Bomb diggity? No! You don't even give me a break to recoup from the Rye Dog and you're dropping a bomb diggity on me already? And now let's get back to the fundamentals with trades. Trade them in and get new games for less? That's right. 
Well, I can't do that over at Best Buy. I'm definitely coming here to get all my games. Great. Well, in that case, you're definitely going to need an MVP card. MVP? Did I hear that right? Zelda, what's going on down there? You heard it right, K-Dog. Gale is getting extremely jiggy with it. Get jiggy with it? How, who could have anticipated to get jiggy with it? I, I swear to God, I didn't even see that coming from 10,000 miles away. Extremely jiggy with it. So what's the MVP card? Well, the MVP card is our membership card, and it's made for hardcore gamers. It'll save you some serious cash. Well, the MVP card is a way for us to harvest your personal information so we can sell it to third parties and send you nonstop spam, not only to your mailbox, but to call you at inappropriate hours. How does that sound for you? Not good? It doesn't sound good? Oh, oh, what I mean is that you get $1 extra on your game trade-ins. That's what I mean. It's a great deal. You're going to love it. Okay, so how much is that going to run me? Well, the MVP card is, um, it's about 20 bucks. Wow, they sell it too. What a f great deal, huh? Their business model is, is truly unbeatable. Game crazy. You're smart people, good people, down-to-earth people, in touch with the youth of today. Extremely jiggy with it. I never miss the opportunity to tell our new guests about the trading. Once they realize how much farther their gaming dollars go, they never go back to the big bucks. And that MVP, that was crunk. Crunk? That doesn't even mean anything. That was crunk. Woo, yeah! I'm down here in the his house. You know, oh, dog, that was the bomb diggity, my Extremely jiggy with it. Now let's see if Ryan can sell a value that can't be seen as we move on to the pre-order. I just love how they're openly admitting that they're basically scamming people with pre-orders. A value that can't be seen. Let's see if our sales reps can go ahead and scam people with the pre-order. The pre-order. <laughs> By pre-ordering, we actually guaranteed that. That trade credit move was just a little nudge she needed to commit. Well, you heard it here, fellas. Ryan is slinging the bling-bling to get that paper. Ryan's crunk tonight and slinging the bling-bling. Make sure a 10-0 doesn't come whopping bar. He's sure to be dropping caps in all of your asses. Yes, that's right. I am talking about murder, not video games anymore. Ryan, you are the legitimate street thug. Nice tech nine on that little bling bling. Once that whoop whoop starts rolling around a little whoop whoop. You know what I'm saying? Drop a little of that poo, that get iced out, blinged out, blasted down. Smoke a little of that cron cron slip John, cron John silver. You know what I'm saying? Put, put the drugs on, put the ice on the table. Get a little of that Scooby Doo and you'll be all set for the night. I'm Zelda reporting in from fuck me in the ass. I'm as white as hell, but so in touch with kids culture studios. See you next time. Never, because Game Crazy went the fuck out of business, and I mean, I can't understand why. Just think I'm in the video game, I completely get lost. Tell them what you did, Billy. Five hours. Oh, Tell them what you did, you said. Computer for five hours. Did you